Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I have a small to do MVC project and I want to show how I instrument this project on a fly and write tests following the code coverage as a guide. Uh, right now I have a test that doesn't really do anything, it says shows no to do's. Uh, let me start Cypress so we can see this test in action. So I'll say Cypress open, I'll have the browser on the left and notice right now it for a force because I don't have the actual REST API but because I'm using Cypress REST easy I can create in this test let's say REST to do let's say no items because that's what I'm want to test move cursor to the right Okay, so we can see the routes created by REST easy. We can see that it called get to do's and there are no items. We just have to confirm that the data has loaded and no to do's element is visible. Perfect. Well, now that we have one test, we want to see which parts of our application we exercise. And for that, I'm going to use my Cypress code coverage plugin. This is the repo already installed it. I just need to add this to the support file. Uh, let's say right here. And I need to install it in my config file. So probably right here. And I need to instrument the application. I don't want to instrument the application because it's too simple. I need to instrument this on a fly. Uh, so my app has app folder app.js so what i can do right here i can say coverage instrument all the files in the app folder and i can see that it's already generating code coverage report as soon as i modified the config and support files so we are instrumenting everything let's open this report i'll say open coverage lcov index html opens it in my Safari browser and this test where it just loads no to do's covered 41% of application source code. And if I look at the app.js, I can see that I exercise set loading and set to do's, but I never added new to do's, removed anything and I did not test the error states and so on. All right, no big deal. Let's, for example, add a to do. Okay, so I'll have again Cypress on the left, my code editor on the right, and I'll just add um, a new test and I'll say it as a to do. Again, I'll start with no to do's, visit the site, I'll add a to do. Should have one item. Uh, let's say it clears completed to-dos. Now, in this case, I want to have a couple of to-dos right away. I don't want to add them for the UI. So right here, I can say to-dos and I have a fixture file already ready to go. So notice right here, it started with four to-dos and they all are, well, we can actually complete some of them. So I'll say um, get a lie to do, should have length four. And I'll say first find, find toggle and click and then click clear completed. So right here, it removed uh, that first to do, right? Before we click clear completed, let's confirm that the first to do has class completed. So I'll say, say first should have class completed. So what's our current code coverage? Our code coverage plugin saves the data automatically and merges the report. So I'm going to reload the local report. Remember it was 41%, now 78. We did not cover remove. Let's do this right now. So I'll say it remo uh, moves a to do. Again, we're going to start with four items right away. 
we're gonna find the destroy button i'm gonna invoke show because we need hover and once we removed an item there should be three items okay worked correctly all right so we covered everything but with filters and a, a couple of edge cases so for filters we'll say it shows filters and in this case we need a couple to do some of them completed uh, some not so we'll say rest and to do so let's say completed json and i'm gonna go to to do's and i'll say a copy completed and for example say true and right here by default it should show all of this okay so i'll say this is all i'll say get a light to do should have length four and when we click on the active it should show free and then completed and back to all okay so we exercise all the filters and let's run all the tests go to the report reload it excellent so the only edge case that we haven't exercised right we have 90 percent code coverage is error loading uh, to do's trying to add an empty to do and uh, visiting an incorrect hash let's start with incorrect hash we can say it goes to all to do's on incorrect hash so right here if we go to let's say unknown then it should have loaded and it should go to the filter all and it should plus things selected let's see yes okay and the last thing we want to do is we want to confirm that this call that cannot load the data because we didn't set the rest endpoint for this particular test that it prints could not load to do using console.error method which is right here and the way we're going to do this we're going to in our visit say on before load we get the window object so we can spy on the window console error method okay and so right here we can confirm that this method was called with could not load to do okay the test passes reload the code coverage report we're hitting those lines and the only thing we're not testing yet is that we cannot add a blank to do also uses console uh, dot error so let's just add since we're already instrumenting the console error we can just add a test here so we'll say get input new to do and we'll just let's just give it a good step try adding a blank to do and we should get answer error and the message is cannot add a blank to do all right so confirms it back to the report reloaded last time and we covered everything except for one of our like really edge case branches 99 percent code coverage so this was my example of using my code coverage plugin to instrument a simple application on the fly and use the code coverage report to quickly write a lot of tests using mock um, api using cypress rest easy and cursor id to actually write the tests really really quickly